You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. This is brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge Co., your source for sound business and tax services. And hey, welcome to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge and we're experiencing some rain here in South Carolina. It's been coming down for three straight days. In the 40s, kind of chilly. Everything's getting all wet. Dogs hate going outside because their feet get wet. I hate them coming inside because they bring in this bright red mud that gets all over my house. (laughs) But that's the life you live when you're in a state where you get hot, you get cold, you get rain, you get muddy dirt. So I want to uh, talk this morning just a little bit about what we can do for 2019 that can enhance our businesses. Because we need to change up every once in a while. We need to, we need to think about what we can be creative at to make it a better business or to grow the business even more. And we do this every so often. We need to do it even more because sometimes we get stuck. We get stuck in this rut and we don't want to change. Because we're afraid of change. But we need to change. We need to muck it up just a little bit. And one of them is when you think about your company for 2019, think about it and work towards a higher purpose. And there are people out there who are doing that even to today. One of them is the actress uh, Garner who talks about how she has her business and how she makes the money so because she ha- she hates to ask other people for money so she decided to start her own business and do it herself but she's also able to give money to children in other words support of children's activities in needs so think of your company of driving a higher purpose of what your community i really stress this Every single one of the communities out there need help. Get involved in where your business is, in the community that it is in, what are the needs of that community. Think about that. If your purpose is deep, your success will be meaningful. So find that organization that provides help to your community that you're living in, and you can make it a stronger community. Okay. The other thing that a lot of us don't think about is, are we really building a strong foundation for our companies, our businesses? When you are starting a business in your kitchen, you don't think far ahead. And that was told by Jamie Schmidt, founder of Schmidt Naturals, a deodorant, soap, and toothpaste brand acquired by Unilever for an undisclosed amount in in 2017. She advises business owners to keep audited financial records from the start. The more history you have, the more sellable the company will be. And let me tell you, if you've started a company, your end goal should be how you're going to sell that company. It's always been my end goal since I began selling, uh, began building my company in 1984, is how can I sell it later on? The other issue is that, and I have advised clients on this so many times, and I encourage them to do this, is they need to build at the very beginning of their startup company, or even in your companies right now, is to assemble an advisory board. And this advisory board can be 
different people. It can be your attorney. It can be your accountant. It can be uh, a mentor that you that has built a business successfully. And these are the people that you need to listen to as you begin to build your company. They're not a board of directors. They're just an advisory board of people who have achievements under their belt and can advise you along the way. And then you need to learn the business. And you, at the very beginning, you have to start small and get in the game. And that was said by Rodriguez, the former New York Yankee, 14-time Major League Baseball All-Star and partner to superstar Jennifer Lopez. A-Rod has helped bring the true fusion of fitness concept to the East Coast by opening two studios in South Florida. And he says, go narrow and deep on one or two things. Learn your business. Know what you're good at. That's the most important thing. And then you need to create a culture that aligns with your brand. Remember, we're always trying to build our brand. I'm trying to build it every day. I'm out there every single morning and at night and during the middle of the day trying to build my brand and get my brand known out there on social media, uh, press releases, a podcast that I'm doing right now. So you need a great culture to have a great brand. And you need to be fiercely you need to fiercely protect it with glass overflowing people who aren't afraid to roll up their sleeves. That means you have to work at. It. You have to work at this process of building your brand every single day and aligning people that will associate with your brand. That's the most important thing as you Start to market your company out there that your brand is known and that it has a good name. So you have to bring in people that are willing to work up the sleeves for you to build your brand and to build your company. And then you need to look to the future. Keep in mind that the consumer landscape is always growing and evolving. It's always changing. In 2010, 1.2 billion people were online. By 2015, it was 2.8 billion. By 2022, it will exceed 8 billion people. Are your products and services set up for that market? Look ahead. How are you going to get involved in such a large marketplace of consumers? Sitting out there at 8 billion on the internet. How can you reach out to them? Then you also need to prioritize the customer experience. After the 2007-2008 financial crisis that saw retail sales drop to the lowest levels in 35 years, you need to begin to prioritize what your customers are experiencing within your company. You need to create a, a an environment for customers that almost has a champagne bar <laughs> so that they know that you are there for them, that you can sit down with them, that you can have a cup of coffee with them and talk about their experience or what their needs are. That's why my firm went into the coaching side. You know, I've been doing this since 1984. So, and I have advised companies from cogeneration power plants to real estate companies to uh, high tech companies to manufacturing companies to cogeneration power facilities to entertainment. You name it, I have touched almost every corner of the of almost every industry segment so i have experience to share and let me tell you when you are hiring a business coach you need somebody who has the experience who have gone through everything i have the ability to almost sit down with any company within a few minutes understand what that company is about because I have been through so many different 
scenarios. I've heard almost every single story out there. I've heard of almost every crisis that these individuals and companies have been touched with. So I, I have the experience level. So you need to prepare and be always willing to sit down with people, especially your clients, and understand what their needs are and how you can do a better job in serving them. And the most important, and I talk about this all the time, I talk about this in my new book on regarding fear, but you need to take risks and then you need to accept any mistake that you've made. Don't blame it on anybody else because that company and the, and the checks that you sign are in your name and you're the one that's responsible for that. Success is stressful and it's overwhelming. You don't make wise choices at the pinnacle of success. You need to give yourself permission to be imperfect. Because we're human beings. We are individuals who can't take risk very well. And we're afraid to step out. We're afraid to make a mistake. But that's the only way that you learn out there is by making those mistakes. I tell you, 2019, I look at as going to be a pretty good year. The only issues that may happen is because since we now have a fight going between Congress and the president, a lot of things that need to be done for business are not going to get done. Because there's this fight going on. But I'm here to tell you. That president and that Congress. Has nothing to do with how you run your business. No matter what the president says. No matter what the, the people in Congress says, say. I mean. They have no impact on your business. And how you treat your customers and how you plan your growth and how you make mistakes and how you, it is all up to you to run that business. So take a risk. Look at 2019 with a lot of possibilities, a lot of potential and go for it. If you need any coaching, business coaching, just call my office at 888-681-1518 and set up an appointment to speak with me. This week I'm in South Carolina. At the end of next week I'll be in San Francisco for two weeks and then back down to Burbank, my main office, until uh, May 1st. So I will be there for quite some time. And I'm if you're in California, just call up and set up an appointment. I do... Uh, 30 to 1 hour sessions be more than happy to work with you everybody remember 2019 is out there for you to grasp start planning now if there's anything that I teach my clients plan 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 I don't like the word goal I hate that word but once you put a plan on paper that means you can start ticking it off as you go along on the accomplishment accomplishments that you've made on that plan. And by the way, one other word that I'm never going to use in any of my personal podcasts or any of my other things is I hate the word hustle. I hate that word. Hustle makes it sound as if you are out there doing illegal activity and, and hustling people for their money. I hate that. We are professionals. We're good business people. We don't hustle. We work hard. We present ourselves professionally. That's just my own personal thought on that. This is it for today. I hope you all have a very good uh, Christmas planning and New Year planning for your businesses. Let's get going because 2019 is going to be a great year. I'll talk with you very soon. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. 
call us today toll free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. Thank you for listening to The WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs.